Okay, so we're going to talk about how we work out the formulas for sequences today. Here we've got a pattern starting here, a triangle, two triangles, three triangles, four triangles. And we talk about these pictures here as being represented by something we call the figure number. And figure number really just means what picture number are we talking about. Figure number, we normal, normally always in maths use the letter M. Figure number as the letter M. So, what figure number is this? Figure number one, picture number one. What picture number is this? Two. Picture number here, three. Picture number here, four. And we could carry on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, how many matchsticks do we have in figure number one? It's just to count them. One, two, three. In figure number five, we have one, two, three, four, five. Figure number two, sorry. Figure number three, how many matchsticks? Well, we have the five from here, and then we're adding two each time. So we're going to get seven. Here we're adding another two. We have those seven plus another two. So we've easily identified what the pattern is from here to here, quite easily. We're just adding two matchsticks each time. And that number is very important to recognize, the adding number, because it helps us very much in our formula. It's pretty easy for us to work out how many matchsticks there are in figure number 5, because we know we're just going to add 2, and here we'll get 11. In figure number 6, we would get 13. But if I asked you how many matchsticks would we get in figure number 52? So, number of sticks in figure number 52. We would need a formula. We'd need to know, how can I go directly from n to number of sticks? And I could add 2 to 3 52 times, but it wouldn't be very effective. So we have to think about... What have I started with in my picture, and what have I added each time? Well, I started, I can think of it as starting with one matchstick and adding two each time. This adding number here is extremely important, that to get the number of sticks, which we will call S, sticks is the number that we added, two multiplied by N. And the number of sticks that we started with, we started with one here and we added two. Here we started with those and we added two. Here we started with those and we added two. So the number that we add in time is, uh, each time is the number that goes in front of n. And the number of sticks that I started with in the very first picture before I added those two is the number that goes add one. So the formula for number of sticks is two lots of n plus 1. So now it's very easy to work out how many sticks there are in figure number 52. Sticks is 2 times what n is. I know that n, figure number, is 52, plus 1. 2 times 52 is 104, plus 1, giving us 105. So our conclusion would be there are 105 sticks in figure number 52. What if I asked you the question of the number of sticks, match sticks here, is 451. What is the figure number? Well, if we know that sticks is 451, using our algebra skills, we know that S equals 451. We have the formula that S is 2 lots of N plus 1. So we know that 451 is S, 451 is 2 lots of N plus 1. When it comes to algebra, we always want our N's on one side and all the numbers on the other. So the easiest thing to do here would be to subtract 1 from both sides of our equation. 
If I take away 1 from both sides of our equation, I get 451 minus 1 here, giving me 450, equals 2 lots of n, and here I've got a plus 1 and a minus 1, giving me 0 there. So I know that 2 lots of n is 450. To get n by itself, I divide both sides of the equation by 2 to get 1 lot of n. So 1 lot of n will be 450 divided by 2, n equals 225. So figure number 225 would have 451 matchsticks. So we're just using our algebra skills and going backwards. And now once you've worked out what this formula is, the 2n plus 1, you can work out either the number of matchsticks or the number of, uh, or the figure number independent of what they give you. So this is an important skill to practice, figure numbers. Not only finding this connection, but to find the connection here. How do we know that this formula is correct? Are we really sure it's correct? We can always check it. If we take the figure number here and use our formula, the figure number is 1. 1 times 2 plus 1 would give us 2 plus 1, which would equal 3. 2 times 2 plus 1. The figure number is 2, we're to multiply n by 2, giving us 4 plus 1, which is 5. 3 times 2 plus 1, giving us 6 plus 1 equals 7. So we can always check that we've got the right formula, because if it's the right formula, it will always work when we plug it back into here. 2n plus 1, 2 times 4 plus 1 equals 8, plus 1 equals 9. So we have the right formula. And that's something you should always remember to try and check. Okay?